Well, for 29 years, Judge Anson Scalia was the anchor of conservative jurisprudence in America, but Scalia has been gone for close to a year now, and now the president has chosen Neil Gorsuch to carry on his legacy. Can he be counted upon to do that? Joining us now with his thoughts is former New Jersey Superior Court Judge, Fox News Senior legal contributor and our friend, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, it's great to see you. What do you make of this? Uh, well, I'm ecstatic over this, uh, Tucker. He is probably the most worthy jurist in the country to fill the shoes of Anton and Scalia for uh, a couple of reasons. One is a healthy skepticism about the ability of the government to regulate the economy and to regu regulate yeah. our personal lives. I'm so sorry that your prior guest really didn't know what she was talking about. She should welcome somebody like Neil Gorsuch because he interpreted the First Amendment to mean what it says. Congress shall make no law interfering with the free exercise of religion, whether it's a mom and pop operation or a, or a corporation or a bigger corporation. You were exactly right. The government can't force you to give a benefit to your employee when the giving of that benefit violates your religious beliefs and when the employee right. can get the benefit elsewhere. And the Supreme Court upheld that decision of Judge uh, Gorsuch. So that's the, that's the small picture that I'm happy about. The big picture is Judge Gorsuch, as you know, Tucker, you and I have talked about this, embraces the idea of originalism, which simply means the meaning of the Constitution was fixed at the time it was ratified, and it's only been changed each time it was amended 27 times. And if it's right. going to be changed again, the states have to amend it. The court can't amend it. So it's not what Justice Ginsburg thinks it right. is, a living, breathing document that changes when the politicians need the change. What's interesting is that originalists tend to take a pretty dim view of executive orders because the Constitution, of course, specifies that the Congress makes the laws, not the executive. And I wonder, since the last several presidents have relied pretty heavily on them, including this one, if there are implications in that. Well, there would be implications in that if the executive orders are tantamount to making the law. For example, right. when Barack Obama issued a, a series of executive orders, there's actually 24 of them, uh, affecting immigration, a trial judge in Texas ruled this is not the president telling the Department of Homeland Security how to enforce the law. This is the president changing a law in a way that the Congress specifically rejected. That's right. That That's was true. upheld by the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit in New Orleans, and then the Supreme Supreme Court split on it in a four to four tie, which basically upheld what the Fifth Circuit said. What President Trump is doing so far, not only is everything that he promised he would be doing, but within the contours of the law, telling the people who work for him in the executive branch how he wants them to exercise their discretion. Interesting. So I, I should just say to our viewers, I know that you've met with the president a couple of times recently. You probably talked about this. I know there are also people in the administration who wanted to pick you. Um, so you have a pretty good vantage on this. What do you think this new justice, if confirmed, will make of some of the cases, the key cases coming before the court in the next year or so? Okay, there are some very interesting cases coming before the court. And Tucker, they are coming in April. Very significant. That's two months from now. If Chuck Schumer can delay this uh, nomination confirmation until May or June, he will deny Judge Gorsuch's fingerprints on these cases, and they're profound. One, can the Department of Education force every school in the land that accepts federal funds, which is literally every school, right. to reconstruct their bathrooms for transgendered students? Two, if a state decides to take, you're not going to believe this, old automobile tires and turn them into a parking lot, can a Catholic church use the parking lot for students to play a game of wiffle ball on? In, in the court below, it said, no, that violates the First Amendment. It's a conspicuous yeah. aid to religion. These are Sounds two like theocracy to me. Yes. Yeah. So these are two, you know, controversial <laughs> issues that will come right before the court. Three, very, very excessive in my view, and I suspect yours, overreaching by the Environmental Protection Administration. There are four environmental protection challenges where the EPA won below. So if there's a four to four tie because Judge Gorsuch, it got, Judge Gorsuch Gorsuch is not confirmed, then the EPA will prevail. If Judge Gorsuch gets to hear it, then he'll be the dispositive vote. And, and you think on all of those decisions, it's pretty clear, I think, what the sort of traditional conservative view would be that he would rule on that side? I do. 
I think you take a traditional conservative view and add in a healthy Scalia-like dose of skepticism right. about the government, and you equal Neil Gorsuch. So let me just ask you a, more, a broader, more theoretical question. We've watched an awful lot of uh, Supreme Court justices come and some go. I don't think I've seen one become more conservative, more committed to original intent during his or her time on the court. They all seem to become more activist, or a lot of them do. Have you ever seen anyone move in the other direction? Well, the only one that moved in the other direction, if he moved at all, was Justice Scalia. There is, right. a, well, tend right. there is a tendency for people to become more activist. Here's the kind of activism that I would like to see, a constitutional activism, an activism that says to the government, wait a minute, Congress shall make no law means no law. You're not going to get us to fudge on this one. In that area, I think you're going to find Judge Gorsuch not moving, but solid as a rock, just like he was on the, or has been, uh, on the uh, circuit court. Judge Napolitano, what a great explanation. Thanks a lot for that. Pleasure to be with you, Tucker. All the best.